Hi guys, today is day five! Woo! I'm getting into this now, it's getting quite exciting, except I'm covering the mic with my thumb a little bit, so I hope it doesn't muffle the audio. Um, I've just been out to get my tablets, um, so I guess the time is sort of now. I did promise that I would talk about my diagnosis. Um, yeah, so, oh god. I want to do this when I am of a less emotional mind, which is right now, so. Um, and it's also going to explain why I haven't done a draw my life yet, because I, I think once I've kind of accepted it and settled into medication, I'll be able to do that. But, um, oh, I don't want to be judged. Um, so if any of you guys really do want to be nasty about this and sort of judge me, or think of me differently, then I would rather you just didn't say anything and kind of just left. Um, okay, so, um, I was having a lot of issues with um, my mood, and I kind of chalked it up to depression which is something that a lot of people get diagnosed with and it can vary in different degrees of severity. Um, my actions were quite severe and I was doing things that I shouldn't be doing. I'm not going to talk about them in depth, but yeah. And um, it all sort of kicked off. It started in university and it got worse in Hong Kong, very, very bad in Hong Kong. And then when I came back, I was frog marched down to the doctors by my mother. Um, and they diagnosed me with depression and anxiety and sent me on a course of CBT. And I started... <coughs> Sorry. I started CBT. And the more I did it, the more I felt judged. And after 12 weeks, I pretended I was miraculously cured. And I knew that I didn't want to go back. I basically lied and said, I don't need help anymore. I'm so much better now. And I was lying. Um, and then for months on end, I just, like, I was too scared to actually go to the doctors because I'd come across information that kind of fit what I was going through. And it was at that point that I realised I needed to do something, but it, I, I didn't, I couldn't face it. Because when I was, um, when I was in a low mood, I was, um, house, sort of, like, I don't know, I wouldn't leave the house, basically. Um, and everything was awful, and yeah. <laughs> and then when I was okay, I was like, there is nothing wrong with me. Um, I, I can't go to the doctors like this. Like, it's absolutely stupid. Maybe I just won't feel sad again. Um, and it was very much back and forth, back and forth for probably nearly, well, well over a year. And... I finally, finally chose to go to the doctors and asked him to be referred through to a specialist for bipolar disorder, which is what I had researched. And I was put through to a specialist team who evaluated me. And then I was given a therapist who spoke to me for about eight weeks and we went through a course of bipolar assessment and treatment and what she believes I have was different to my psychologist's analysis afterwards. Um, she believed that I had either bipolar type 2 which is um, very severe depression with um, hypermania instead of mania which is basically a lesser, it's not as intense as full mania. Um, and that's what I felt like I had. 
and there was another thing she thought I might be, which is uh, cyclothymia. And that's bipolar again, but it's both mania and depression without the severity of both ends. But she said, I'm definitely somewhere around that. Um, and so then I had to be sort of signed off by a psychiatrist, which I was on December 31st. And I discussed medication, and we discussed which ones I should try. Um, he says that there's a lot of debate on the actual um, legitimacy of bipolar type 2, because a lot of European psychologists believe that it's um, non-existent. So I, I refer to it as bipolar, because it's easier for people to understand and um, people kind of then realise that it's a severe thing and don't take it as lightly because I find that there is a lot of stigma around the word depression and people just think they're just sad and there's still a lot of stigma around bipolar but I have been fully diagnosed and confirmed to have a severe mood disorder whether it has a name or not, we don't know. And so um, I was referred for medication and they put me on a antidepressant. There was three options I had. A mood stabiliser for bipolar disorder, an antidepressant, or both. And I said that I wanted to start off with the easiest medication. Um, so he put me on a, um, uh, a prescription for sertraline, which is an antidepressant. And for the past two months I've been on it and it's been hell on earth. And I started with tremors and anxiety and then I got just every side effect under the sun and I couldn't get up in the morning. It was making me drowsy. I couldn't do it. Um, but the effect that it had on my mood was incredible. I've been, like, zipping around for the past sort of two months, and it's been great, and I've, I've been productive as well as, well, when I'm awake. And then um, I think some of you guys have kind of noticed differences in my mood and sort of behaviour, especially if you frequent my streams. I noticed at one point I was having a live stream and I was really hyper, really, really hyper. I couldn't, I was talking so fast and I was just like, I don't know, I didn't feel like me. Um, whether I was having some kind of episode, I don't know, but I'm just, I have to get used to noticing the early signs of things like this and... It's, uh, those that are close to me know about this diagnosis already. And I, I know that they've noticed things. Um, my family, Ryan, my really close friends have all noticed changes in me from month to month. Um, but anyway, so, um, I have been put on... Oh, there's a staple in the bag. Okay, I have been now switched to citalopram, which is apparently just no one likes it. <laughs> my nana and my auntie are on citalopram though, so hopefully it'll work for me. Um, apparently, it doesn't affect mood as well as other ones, but you know what? If I have to go through every medication until I find one that works, I will. It's it's just gonna it's gonna be awful, <laughs> and I don't think I'm gonna read the side effects of these this time, because um, I did with sertraline, and I was warned. I know, don't read the tablets, don't read the side effects, and I did. Don't do it, guys. <laughs> um, so we'll see. But anyway, 
Um, I don't really want to talk about it anymore because I'm a bit uncomfortable telling you guys as it is anyway, and I hope that people can be supportive, or if you can't be supportive, then just ignore it and don't say anything. I know there's a massive stigma attached to that word. Um, but yeah, so that's what's going on with me. <laughs> um, if any of you have any questions or anything, um, if you think you're going through something similar and you just want someone to talk to, then please, please message me. If you need to talk to someone, please, I am here. Drop me a YouTube message or Twitter DM or anything, just or an email, whatever. Um, might take me a while to reply sometimes. <laughs> but just so you guys know that you're not alone. You're not. You, you think you are, but you're not. Trust me, I know how it feels. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking now because I feel dumb talking about this. I just, I hate it. I hate talking about it. I always feel really ashamed and I shouldn't, but I do because I feel like it's a sign of weakness for me personally. But I don't care if anyone else has it and I'm just like, whatever, just it's coming to terms with a, a diagnosis I think is difficult. But anyway, happy things. Like, I'm going to get on with work. Bye. <laughs> I've just edited sort of like a speed paint version of my live stream the other night for the card captors card drawing I did. Um, hopefully I could upload this today. Like, imagine if I got two videos in one day. Wow. Anyway, um, I'm just about to head over to my mum's to sort out some business things because, like I said, she's going to be taking over my business. So, gotta go, gotta run. Hey, Tio, I'm off to my mum's house. Um, to sort out some business things and uh, mostly sort of like expansion with equipment and stuff. I have to put the blinds down because I need to put the light on for the birds because it might be dark by the time I get back because I'm gonna go spinning afterwards. So, no, I best get my um stuff together like my sports bra and I'll change at mum's house actually. Hmm. Spinning is kind of fun, like I mentioned in my other vlog, but boy is it painful. I'm going to take that, panda hoodie, leggings, towel, and hmm. where's my sports bra? I haven't left yet. Um, spent forever looking for my sports bra. I was at the bottom of the basket that um, my laundry was in, <laughs> um, but I found it and got my leggings, panda hoodie, sports bra. I'm probably just gonna wear. That. I could probably do with wearing a different top. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, I've put a wash on, so I'm gonna. Yes, I need to go past five o'clock so I've got less than an hour with my mum but you know adult things to do oh my god <laughs> I'm back I'm kind of dying um I'm just making myself a jacket potato <sighs> jacket potato woohoo um and uh, it wasn't as hard as the week before because I was still sick last week. Legend. Um, <clears throat> I wasn't as sick this week. Um, but the seats hurt so much. Whoa. I'll get my potatoes. I might as well do the tiny potato. Baked potato bag, really, and you get a potato that's not even the size of my palm. Jacket potato, go! Oh god, <laughs> my camera just got knocked out by a potato. Um, woo, steamy! <laughs> yep, look at the world's tiniest jacket potato. Oh, look at that glow, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, it's so tiny. I might give it to Bumble.
finishing watching EastEnders now and then I'm going to go and set up loads of postage stuff. Um, oh no, I'm going to finish editing my video. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm so tired. <laughs> So I got my convention table down, but everything's a tip. I need to hoover up because it's just bits of... One thing I really hate about this camera, or my carpet, probably my carpet, is that the floor looks really bad on here, but in real life, it's not that bad. There's a bit of bird seed and some paper. But because of the dots, it makes it look worse than it is, and I just, uh, I just hate it. I'm just trying to vlog a sketchbook tour. I've just started and the weather is going absolutely insane. Like, look at this, this is awesome. This is my favorite kind of weather in the whole world. If only it was like um, thunderstorming, like fully thunderstorming, lightning and thunder and everything, that would be the best because it's my favorite, but, oh, it's so nice. <laughs> but it's a little bit loud for the cameras. I'm just watching my friend's videos. Um, I used to go to college with this guy and he uploads to YouTube and they're so funny. Like I don't want to like freeboot this whole video obviously, um, but I'll put the link in the description. But it's so funny this video, I swear to God. <laughs> Gone out, won't be back till late. Well, okay. So the weather's just going absolutely nuts. Look at this. I think there's hail. What the hell? <laughs> what the hail? <laughs> Get it? <laughs> oh, sorry. Give it a go, whether it comes out good or not. Mm. You know, you've just got to be brave sometimes. You've got to be daring and just, like, do it. Mate, guys, I'm not savage. Like, she's used to this. Aren't you? <laughs> yeah. We, this is banter. We insult each other quite a lot. Top bands. Actually, no, Maxi just insults me. I'm like, Maxi, you're so great. Uh, no, Maxie, you're not. You're so great. So, guys, um, if one of us passes away, the other one gets to publish our WhatsApp chat log. <laughs> All them sick puns. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, but Linda's got a hedgehog. Yeah, also, Linda's really cute. <laughs> Linda? She. Hashtag smooth. I've just got that on vlog. <laughs> yeah, I just noticed that you were you were recording. Yeah, I'm not being. I'm not trying to be sneaky, Joe Quinn. <laughs> I said I was gonna vlog. Oh man, I'll go wherever and if if there's like a way of me getting there, I will do it. On public transport, so I can't drive. Oh, here we go. Hi, vlog. Wow. Wow. Spank Maxi, can you stop? <laughs> you know what, I am so editing that in. Will you spank Maxi? He would never. <laughs> she said my name, I'm in the vlog now. Hee hee hee. <laughs> Is this actually happening? It is actually happening. <laughs> Jelly Raid! Yes! <laughs> That's too funny. Oh, what's what's uh, Bailey J's Twitter handle? Um, at Bailey underscore J. Look at this absolute sight the morning after a live stream. <laughs> um, let's get the curtains open. So I've just had some interesting news from um, from um, someone that I'm going to be working with, and it's really exciting. <laughs> They're really, really exciting. Let me just get my password typed in. Yeah, so I need to tidy up my desk, obviously, this morning, but. Um, I don't want to show my face because I just look an utter mess. But I've got some, uh, got a job that I might be working on. Woo! I'm <laughs> really excited. So, yes, definitely, definitely excited. But I can't talk about it just yet, but it should be within the next few days. I'm still covered in green ink as well from last night. <clears throat> and look at this. 
kitchen roll piece that I used to mop up the green ink on Jade's dress. So I'm just uh, popping over to my mum's house because we've got some business things that we still need to do. And um, yeah, and normally I mooch off her for dinner, but I want to cook spaghetti and meatballs for dinner tonight because we've got some meatballs and I'm so excited to use them. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go over there for about an hour. I had to wait in for my Amazon package or else I would have gone sooner. But um, yeah, I look like a great mess, but I've just got a panda hoodie on and leggings and I'm just like, because my mum lives so close, like I don't, there's no need for me to like mega dress up. <laughs> Ralph, hello. What's this? What's this? What's this? <laughs> you are noisy. You're very noisy. What are you saying? Huh? Hello, beautiful. What are you doing? Boop. Boop. <laughs> What's this? Look at how mottled you are for your mould. <laughs> what is it? It's your friend, the camera. Oh, chicken. I'm gonna go sleep. That one's asleep too. I've got my spaghetti and meatballs, which is. What? What was that? <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway, I've got my spaghetti and meatballs it's kind of exploded on the plate, which looks trays smart. Um, don't know what I'm going to stick on telly. I normally watch iPlayer. Woohoo! <laughs> like this part of me that really really doesn't like the card captors anime um because i know how inaccurate it is and i've read the manga and i don't know it's just part of me that can't hate it too much because it's just like it was so important to me as a kid um but like watching it now it's a bit cringy it's just like oh like like Tomoya is called Madison <laughs> and they've all got like some of them have got like really English names like um what's his name Yuki is I think his name is Yuki in the Japanese I can't remember now um he's called Julian and they were talking about him I was like who's Julian <laughs> Oh, but I can't hate it too much because, like I said, I, it was my favourite show when I was about 11 or 12. And I just want to draw more fun out now, like, seriously. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> Don't mind me, I'm just yawning. I see my fringe cutting again. My hair grows too fast and it looks, like, dirty at the moment. Gross. Um, yeah, I'm going to edit past three days vlogs together because I'm just kind of tired and I need to carry on working and I'm just like ah kill me but yeah um don't know how much footage I have got but I haven't got a lot so I really apologize but tomorrow I will make sure I do it properly and get everything sorted and yeah <laughs> um <clears throat> because on Saturday, I will be migrating over to my vlog channel. Woo! -hoo. Anyway, um, yes, thank you for watching the past few days, guys, and I will see you guys tomorrow.